Just like Luke, cancer patients can be shocked to learn that they have cancer, but that's when groups of people start to help. In the beginning, there are a lot of tests and things like MRIs that take pictures of the inside of your body so doctors can see what's going on and figure out the next steps. Once they do, a specific treatment plan is created to get a cancer patient healthy again. Charlotte is going to share a few things that may be part of a treatment plan. Often that plan can involve surgery, which would mean if you had a mass or a lump or a bump somewhere in your body, they could try and take that mass out. There's also chemotherapy, which is medicine that goes into your body through your veins, and that medicine helps get rid of those sick cells or those cancer cells in your body. And then the last um, kind of rare option is radiation, which uh, radiation therapy is essentially like beams of energy that target specific areas in someone's body to help almost like blast the cancer cells out of their body. I had uh, six rounds of chemo. Each chemo uh, involved uh, one week in the hospital and then uh, three weeks where I would uh, be at home and I would take pills. And then after those six rounds, I had uh, about uh, eight weeks, I think, of radiation where I would go in in the morning before school every day and they would uh, strap me to like a, a long MRI board and I would have an entire like headpiece on me. So from my chest to my head was clipped onto the table and they would just shoot lasers at me for 20 minutes. When they tell you the drugs that they're going to be using for the chemotherapy, they also kind of list all the different side effects. And that's where the concern comes in, wondering what are the long-term effects to keep him alive going to be on his body and uh, through his life. For someone like Luke, when you're going through chemotherapy, that really, really strong medicine that's going into your body, one of the most common side effects is that it makes your hair fall out. Um, and that's because those cancer cells, when they're growing really fast and they're making lots of new ones, the chemotherapy attacks them right at the point where they're growing. And so it makes other fast growing cells, like hair cells, um, it gets rid of those cells too. Actually, during the, the treatment, it really isn't that bad when you're actually getting the, the chemotherapy. It's, you just sit there for you know, a few hours, get the medicine, and you, you start to feel a little sick, but uh, the real side effects happen after, you know, a couple days later when you, you see the hair fall out and uh, you get sick and you can't walk, your bones are too fragile where you, you walk and it's just excruciating pain. Some kids feel pain in different parts of their body and we have pain medicines that we can use. Um, and then other things like being tired because if your body's fighting off cancer right now, it's getting a lot of really strong medicines which can make you feel less energized and make you feel like you really just need to take a nap and probably not want to go to school for a full day.